What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we get the PA system going. The second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. Can we even trust Bonnie? We got no reason not to trust her. I mean, if she wanted us caught, we'd be caught. But tonight, tonight is risky. It is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? The, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit. Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up. Okay, we should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. I'm just saying we gotta be sensible about this. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. And don't look good. talking about. We're in no shape to go now. Is he gonna be okay? His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people, and now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? Nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. No, we're not leaving Kenny. It's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because you won't have to. I'm all right, huh? We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. The tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now? Yes. Where are we going? Things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it. We need a place to meet up. We can meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? Let's go. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. 
by default it's set to play music, so you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Down into the office, outdoor speaker switch, turn on PA, up to the roof, down into the stock room to meet you guys. That right? Perfect. Be careful. Hey. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. <laughs>